Hey, what's going on guys? Let's look at this problem right here. Here this question is asking, in the low pass filter shown in the figure, for a cutoff frequency of 5 kHz, the value of R2 in kilo ohm is what? So here they are asking for the R2 value, okay? Now the first thing is we have to know whether this is an ideal op amp or non-ideal op amp. Since they haven't, they haven't mentioned anything about it, we assume this is an ideal op amp. For an ideal op amp, the voltage gain is equal to infinity. Voltage gain can be also expressed as VO divided by VID. This implies that if VO divided by VID is equal to infinity, then VID is going to be what? That's going to be VO divided by infinity and that's going to be equal to zero. And VID can be written in another way. VID is equal to V plus minus V minus. So this is equal to this and we found out that's equal to zero. So if we equate this one to zero, from this one we can derive V plus is equal to V minus. So voltage across a positive terminal is equal to voltage across a negative terminal for an ideal op amp. Here voltage across a positive terminal is going to be what? It's going to be zero because this is connected to the ground. So this is going to be zero voltage. Since we found out voltage across a positive terminal is equal to voltage across a negative terminal, this is also going to be zero voltage. Now our purpose is to find out the R2 resistance. In order to find this one, we can go ahead and apply KCL at this inverting terminal. If we do that, KCL at inverting terminal, terminal, inverting is negative terminal, right? Inverting is negative terminal, non-inverting is positive terminal. So KCL at inverting terminal, I mean, we, I, I'm going to apply KCL right here. KCL says addition of all the current through a node is equal to zero. So from that one, we can derive an equation, zero minus VI divided by the resistance in between, that's R1, plus zero minus VO, zero minus VO. But for this one here, we don't have the resistance. We have, I mean, here we have the capacitance, but in order to solve this one, we have to convert this one into Laplace domain. In that way, we will get a impedance, right? So this is gonna be impedance, that's gonna be one over SC. So we convert capacitance as impedance using this Laplace transformation. Okay, now let's go, go ahead and do this one for this one. This is going to be what? 0 minus VO divided by R2. That's going to be equal to 0. Now we found out the relationship. Uh, and uh, we can create the equation based on VO over VI. And if you derive the equation, that's going to be minus R2 over R1 divided by 1 over SC actually 1 plus minus R2 over R1 this should be R1 right here if you simplify this one you will get this one minus R2 over R1 1 plus SC R2 now he, we can convert this one into phasor domain too like if you convert this one this bottom part into phasor domain you will get minus R2 over R1 1 plus j 2 phi f c r 2 so this is i'm converting this part this laplace domain into phase domain so we will end up with this one because it says j omega c right this is equivalent to j omega c in omega is equal to 2 phi f and that's how we got this one right here okay and this part is equal to j omega c r2 remains and that's how we got this one okay now we have this one right here. Now let's go ahead and plug the values. Here we have the frequency given, that's five kilohertz. We have to use this, that one right here. And uh, this is, okay, let's go ahead and create the equation. Instead of this one, I can also rewrite this one as, let's write this one in a different way. This equation can be rewritten as minus R2 over R1 over 1 plus j instead of this whole thing we can replace that one with a f over fh okay now let's see what is fh is fh is equivalent to 1 over 2 phi r2c that's what we replace that one with right fh and uh, so this is equal to this and that's the value given right here fh is the value cutoff frequency is fh so that's the value provided. So we can plug that one for this one and solve for R2. That's our purpose. So 5 
kilohertz is equal hmm, 5 kilohertz 5 kilohertz is equal to 1 over 2 phi r2 c therefore r2 is going to be what r2 is going to be 1 over 2 phi times 5 kilo mean 5k times the capacitance the provided capacitance is 10 nanofarad so 10 times 10 to the power of minus 9 farad and that's going to give us 3.18 kilo ohm so that's going to be the resistance so this is 3.18 kilo ohm and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope this helps thanks for watching